Okay, Ryan here. I am going to show you some data that I think is very, very interesting. Data is normally pretty boring and I, I just drives me bonkers, but here's data that is interesting to me because it's proving something that I really, really am interested in. And all you guys that are using local service ads should be very, very interested in. The number one question I get is how do we get more leads? Everybody that's using local service ads for the most part is getting leads and they just want to get more of them. I've got clients that are just, they're, they're willing to throw as much money as they possibly can at local service ads because they know that they're spending about one fifth to one tenth the cost for a, a conversion or a new client versus what they'd pay over with Google ads. So the cost of local service ad conversions is one fifth to one tenth the cost of what you pay for Google ads or any other type of advertising it, because it's new. And also because Google is rewarding first early adopters. That's really what's going on here. There's it's supply and demand. The supply is high and the demand is low right now because not many people know about local service ads. So you guys that are, that are seeing this right now and they're using local service ads uh, should really pay attention because here's what we found. I had a very, very expensive statistician run these numbers for me using the local service ad API that Google gave us access to about a month ago. Google is basically rewarding you if you do not dispute calls based on this data. So what they're doing is, is they're taking any calls over 30 seconds and they're subtracting out the charge leads. So if you have you know, all your calls that are over 30 seconds you're paying for, then you're good. I mean, then that means that you've got a zero in your numerator at your top which means you're not disputing any calls, which means that Google gets paid, yes. The one thing I was told by all these guys is it's the three R's, reviews, radius, and response time. I'm gonna show you how Google defines responsiveness. It's very interesting. What they're looking at is total number of connected calls, and they're subtracting the charged leads. And by the way, the connected calls is defined as any calls over 30 seconds. That's what, that's what this number is, okay? Because what we found is that as that phone lead responsiveness goes down, it's correlated very, very highly with the cost per call connected. In other words, how much you're paying, how much you're paying for a for a call, with a p value of 0.000000. I mean, hugely correlated. Now, these are all other parameters that you know make sense that they're correlated because they're they're almost the same thing. But when you get down here, you see you see it again. Phone responsiveness on line 14 here, correlated with current period charge leads. What does that mean? It means if you dispute fewer calls and you answer your phone and your calls are all over 30 seconds, meaning, okay, you gotta answer your phone, most they gotta be over 30 seconds, and you also don't wanna dispute your calls, it means that you're gonna get more leads, meaning you're gonna show up in the first or second position more often, okay? That's huge. If I were you guys right now, if you, the number one thing that I would do is I would start over one month just paying for all the leads. Don't dispute any of them. And let's see what happens with your, with the number of leads that you get. I will bet you that it goes up and it will be significantly worth it because these leads are very, very inexpensive anyway. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks. And I'll talk to you soon.